Hello, my name is Ina, and today we're making pasta eyeballs. For this you're going to need your white pasta dough. You'll find the recipe here. You'll also need food coloring black, red, and whatever color you want your iris to be. For the filling you're going to need salt, pepper, butter, cream, corn, and a pepper or chili. Send the corn through a blender. The texture will become quite coarse, which is nice for eyeballs. To make the filling taste the best, you want to cook it for a while. Add some cream and some butter and let it simmer for about 5 minutes. To add that realistic touch, I took a pepper and cut it into fine strains to represent veins inside of the eyes. If you want it a bit more creepy, you can go for green peppers. Add some salt and some pepper for taste and then we are done with our creepy filling for the eyes. And now for the pasta part. Cut your dough in two and one of the pieces into three smaller pieces. Then start rolling out the smaller pieces and painting them in the colors that you need. Flip them over and paint them again until you get the color that you want. We need black, red and whatever you want your iris to be. I have chosen to go for green, so I'm mixing yellow and a bit of blue to get that blendy effect so the eyes looks more realistic. And now for the eyeballs. I wanted my eyes to be bloodshot, to have lots of veins and red colors in them. So I tried painting the veins in and spraying it with some red food coloring. Unfortunately, they just became spotted with a bit of pink, so you don't necessarily need to do this. To make the pupils, I took the black pasta and cut it into smaller pieces. I experimented with different sizes, but I figured the smallest ones were best. I rolled them into small balls so that they would be easier to handle. To make the irises, I took the green pasta, rolled it out and cut it into small discs. I cut out circular discs from the white pasta and started to assemble the eyes. You want water in between the layers and then push it down the best you can. Turn it around and start rolling it out. Be careful to roll it to every side so that the iris and the pupil stays round. And here you can see the finished projects of the pasta. Uh, you want to do this process for all of them. It's going to take some time and yeah, you can also make the pupils however you want. I made one that was slit. To make the optical nerve, you want to cut the red pasta in small pieces. Then roll it out and make a stand on the end of them. And now we have everything we need to make a pasta eyeball. You want a small cup to hold the pasta while you put in the filling. You also need water and a pencil. Start putting the pasta inside of the cup and make sure it goes all the way to the bottom. Put one tablespoon of filling inside of your eye and start penciling the optic nerve with water. You can place it in the middle while you pencil water on the outskirts of your eyeball. Press it into the optic nerve and make sure you don't have any gaps. Now all we have to do is repeat this process for all of the eyes. I'm quite satisfied with how they came out in the end. Now they are ready to be boiled. I pre-boiled and salted the water and then gently put the eyeballs into the boiling pot. This is one of my first pasta projects and one thing I didn't realize is that the pasta sticks to the bottom of the kettle if you're not careful and it can really ruin your pasta. Here you can see one of the eyes have a big hole in it. Yeah, that's ruined. I'm really satisfied with the end result. They look really creepy and it's absolutely something I would serve to someone on a Halloween party. The inside is very creepy with the yellow and the reds and the taste is actually very very good. So I hope you like this video and I'll see you next time.